Call you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Rich, man. Thanks, man. We got here a little late, man. Ran into traffic and stuff like You're that. I want to thank. Don't worry, Bob. Ran into some traffic too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. On the phone right now, we got a LIU alumni, the one and only Richie Parker. Let me get applause for Rich, y'all. Hey, Richie Parker. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Hey, okay. hey, Rich, man. Let, let me let me let me ask you a question. How you feel about um? First, I want to thank you for calling the Knicks and Nets review. How do you feel about being a New York City kid? How do you feel about the Knicks and the Nets this year? I'm good. I'm, I'm a little disappointed, man. You know, I thought, I mean, I, I can't blame Melo. He tried his best. Okay. You know, he, he's a he's a soldier with no with no uh, with no supporting uh, cast. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. And what um, about? I, but, but I definitely think the I definitely think the the Nets got a better team than than the Knicks. Definitely. So let me ask you: You think you think they're gonna pull it together, or you think what what you think? I I think they're gonna pull it together. My thing is. People don't realize it, it takes time for chemistry to, to gel. You know, they got a new right. a new team. They got a new coach. You know, yeah, it, it takes a while. Even the, even the Knicks. You know, it takes a it takes a while. But it it just looked like the Knicks ain't playing hard for Mike Woodson. Right. So now being like from the city, right? Now you play ball in um LIU right there in Brooklyn. Is it more pressure playing in the city? Then it would be in another city. Like if saying if these two teams was in another town, you think it would it'd be a little easier for them to come together or basically be the same thing? I mean, I, I just think the pressure of playing in New, in New York is mm -hmm. tough. You know, you gotta you gotta have a strong mind to play in New York because the crowd, you know, definitely could take you out of your game at any given time. Any given time. Definitely, I agree. So, definitely. I mean, you you gotta have heart to play in New York, and it don't right. look like the Knicks got <laughs> right. the heart to play in New right. York. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. Definitely, and, I definitely agree with that one. And and um, definitely. Right, right, you know, okay. Let let me let me let me ask you something, man. You know, to change the topic, what, what's going on with this um, your foundation um that you have down there in Florida? Fill me in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I started my own company down in Florida. It's a it's a nonprofit organization. All right. The company is called Park Dreams. Uh huh. You know, I, I specialize in inner city youth. My thing is just to give back to the kids to let them know that you don't have to be a product of your environment. You yeah, know, it's right. More, it's actually my slogan is it's more than ball. So you know, education. I do. I specialize in basketball development. I specialize in education. I specialize in getting the kids in school. I mean, my main focus besides basketball is making sure kids got a way out of the inner city and, and be able to experience whatever I, I went through. Well, I got that. Yeah, that's but impressive. Now, this is, impressive. This, is, this is what's interesting to me. Why like Florida and why not the city? Why not the city? Or is it coming to the city? Um, I mean, it's coming to the city, the city eventually. Okay. It just, it's so many there's so many programs in the city that's doing the same thing. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, so I, I and, and this is it's a it's a it's a decline in programs and and kids learning in in, in Florida. I'm in Daytona Beach. Yeah, okay, okay. And yeah, I and think I, they really got a, 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 a issue with you know they games ain't like our games. We got yeah. Bloods and Crips. They got yeah, petty, yeah. petty theft. You know, guys going robbing cars, stealing cars. Yeah, you know, but but at the end of the day, my company teach you how to be a man, how to be a woman, how to respect yourself, and how to grow into a, a good citizen. Yeah, man, and I and I and I and I and I really appreciate that because it's basically filling a void. So, like you said, we do have a lot of programs like that in the city. So, if you know an area that need it, that's what it's about filling that void Definitely. instead of being like you know another program on top of another program when there's another location that definitely needed. So I definitely applaud you. Let me get applause. Yeah, definitely for applaud them. I definitely that. applaud you for that, man. Yeah, hey, Rich, man, I'm going to let you go, man. I, I really appreciate you calling the show, man. Thank, thank you for the opportunity. I mean, you know, it just, it just, you know, just to get it out there that, like, you know, I, I, I definitely believe in giving back to the youth. You know, it's sharing my experience. You know, I've been through it in all kinds of levels, just giving the youth the experience and the knowledge to let right. them know that, you know, you can be whatever you put your mind to. That's right. right. That's and let, right. And let us get that um that foundation one more time. The, the foundation is called Park Dreams. It's located in Daytona Beach. 
And I mean, it's, you know, it's up and coming. I'm, I'm working on basketball clinics, basketball camps, uh, tutoring for kids, mentoring for kids, okay. non-violence. Yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing a little bit of everything. And that's what's man, up, man. We very uh, appreciate this, All man. right, man, Rich, man. Have a good night, man. Thanks for calling in. Have Let's a give good Rich night, a man. Thanks a lot. All Thank right. you.